Alright, hey guys. So, initially, I had recorded myself, like, talking along as I was working on this video. Um, that turned out to be a really long process, and I ended up with, like, over three hours of footage, so... Since that would have been, like, extremely fucking boring, I just, like, opted to speed up my process and just narrate it all for you. Uh, but anyway, this is my first time doing a making of video for anything creative I've done. So, how I go about making videos for the cutting room is I will first decide on a movie to remix. You guys decided for me since I held a poll at the beginning of October asking which movie I should do, and Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses won by a long shot. So, what I usually do is uh, I'll watch the movie to like kind of refamiliarize myself with it and uh, just refresh my brain on it overall. Uh, then comes what I consider to be like the most boring and long part of the process wherein I scan through the movie uh, over and over having just watched it to find clips and sound bites that kind of stick out to me or that I feel like I could use in the track. Uh, I typically always end up grabbing more than I ever end up using in my track which is good because I like to have options and not dig a hole for myself on the production side. Two weeks later. Okay, so um, obviously got a new camera set up um, and I'm in a new place. Uh, so let me see here. I've been gone for a few weeks. I went to Seattle. Um, completely forgot I was doing this video. It is now Monday. I have to finish it by tomorrow, Tuesday, Halloween. Fuck. Um, if I can get this done, which I'm not even sure I can, uh, this will be the quickest record fucking cutting room ever. So, yeah, I really fucked myself by going on a trip for two weeks while I barely had anything done for this video, uh, but it was a much needed trip, and as you guys already know, I still managed to finish it within a day or two. I can't even begin to explain just how stressful it was to finish a cutting room video in the amount of time that I gave myself. Um, to put it in perspective, uh, normally an average cutting room video will take me anywhere from like 20 to 30 hours of work in total to finish. I managed to do this one in like 5 to 10 hours, which was fucking insane. Was it the best video I've ever made? Uh, probably not, but it's definitely not my worst. Um, at the end of the day, it was a fun challenge, and I'm happy that I was able to do it despite shooting myself in the foot numerous times. So at this point, I'm literally just watching the movie and having a good time, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, just listening to see if there's anything else that like sticks out to me, but I'm also just like chilling at this point, because I know there's a lot, a lot of work ahead of me, so I'm kind of just somewhat procrastinating, but it's, uh, it's useful procrastination, if that makes sense. Alright, so as you can see, I reached the end of the movie and managed to get a decent amount of clips to work with, so I immediately jump into my audio workstation and start throwing shit at the wall and experimenting. Um, sometimes I'll already have a rough idea of what I want to do or like try before I begin, and other times, well, most times I have no idea what I'm doing or, uh, or where to start or where the sounds will take me, um, but that's always fun. Uh, it can definitely be a challenge at times, especially with some of the shitty 80s slashers, which I love, um, that I remix. Sometimes there's just little to no good audio in our particular movie, so I have to get creative, but I mean, it's all part of the process. Thankfully, I didn't really have to worry about that too much with this movie, as it's like loaded with crazy sounds and just completely unhinged dialogue, <laughs> um, which I'm sure you can see me laughing at a lot in this video. Although, having too many good sounds can also be a challenge because I'm like, holy fuck, like, what do I use? Uh, but I tend to not get too overwhelmed, I kind of just go with the flow and trust myself as I'm working on it. There are times where I'll be hours into making a track and end up hating it, and so I'll have to start over or change it up a lot. That actually happened while I was working on this track, so, you know, that was fun.
So this is the final step of making a cutting room video and honestly it's the most fun and my favorite part since the hard stuff is over with and I can see the finish line. Uh, but yeah, basically I take my finished track and grab the movie and essentially just line up all the clips with the audio and fill in the gaps with scenes that I like or just stuff that I think would look cool and give the video a nice flow. I don't really try to tell a story with my videos or anything since the movies do that for me. So I just focus on making a cool video that complements the song. This part can also be very tedious as I really have to make sure that the clips line up properly, especially when someone's talking, uh, which can be challenging because I have to reuse the same clip over and over and if just a minute second like discrepancy can throw it off completely and just fuck up the whole thing. So yeah, it, it's a little challenging, but it's, it's still honestly so fun to do. So yeah, there you have it. I was able to finish the video in like less than two days, which is, again, just so fucking crazy to me. Um, but yeah, if, uh, this is my first time doing this, like I said, so if it sucks, let me know. And if you liked it, let me know, because uh, it was pretty fun to do. It was a lot of work, but I mean, it's cool to see my project in retrospect uh, in a way that I've never actually been able to view before. So that was cool. But yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for what lies ahead for the cutting room.